Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosell. This is my uh, tech channel here on YouTube where I talk about mostly obscure technologies that few people are interested in. And uh, one of those is uh, archival optical media. Uh, think CV CDs, DVDs and M-Discs um, or Blu-rays would be much more uh, known to people. Although if you're watching this video, you probably already know exactly what, what optical media is and uh, why you might want to use it for your archiving projects um, specifically. I would say that's where optical media still is relevant. Um, a lot of videogra videographers, photographers, and I mean, you can store anything on them. You can, I'm using, I'm using the M-Disc for uh, backing up podcast episodes. I'm also using it to back up articles I write. I mean, you can just back up any data, right? There's no specific type of data you can or can't put on these things. Uh, but there are types, there are applications that make more sense and less sense. I would say for backups, optical doesn't make any sense. In other words, like let's say backing up a file system. Uh, for backing up stuff you're putting in archive, I think if the um, if their max data works for you, which is relatively low, I realize compared to HDDs and whatnot, um, then go for it. So anyway, today uh, we're going to look at the uh, types of drive on the uh, on the market in January of 2024 because people do ask me sometimes uh, what do you use and I'll show you guys what the options are in this video today. Okay, so first first thing to know is there are both external and internal optical drives still being produced and uh, still being made, I should have said, rather than available. Um, there are still companies making new products, new Blu-ray writers, readers in the year 2024. So you don't have to worry about buying really old stock or anything like that. Um, you know, BDR archival is still being manufactured. So there is still a market for this firstly. Not that I don't think deprecation isn't a legitimate concern, but my answer to that um, argument is that by the time there's a real chance of this being deprecated, there will be something better on the market and you can just move, move your backups over to whatever the uh, better form of uh, offline physical storage is. Something surely will come that will supersede both um, these limited capacity optical technologies and LTO which is uh, just amazing that LTO is still in existence. Um, okay, so then we have um, option, so that's your first, so you can buy both. Um, the second option is you can go for something that's M-Disc certified, or you can take your chances on a generic uh, BDR, BDRW burner. So I have to apologize to someone on Reddit, I can't remember their username, but they were arguing this point. With, they're an M-Disc skeptic, and uh, we've talked about the M-Disc skeptics, they're disbelieving of the claims, and I, I, I say always, that's totally fine. If you think we're wasting our money on them, fine, whatever. Neither, ne ne neither of us, as far as I know, can prove we're right. So let's just leave the argument here. Um, but anyway, they were their point was that um, one of their reasons for doubting MDisc was was a point that they are intercom intercompatible with um, any Blu-ray writer. For DVDs, you need one that does MDisc DVD, I believe. But as basically everyone watching this is probably interested in archiving onto Blu-ray because you know DVDs are smaller capacity, um, it is true that they say any Blu-ray will will read or write it. Here are the uh, Reddit tours uh, who have who are saying this. All BDR drives can burn uh, M disc Blu-ray. The DVD version needs a special burner. And then this individual uh, Ashley Uncia, excuse me, uh, said for Blu-ray M disc does not deviate from the Blu-ray standard. This means that all Blu-ray burners are M disc M disc Blu-ray burners. And this is the the, the skepticism, whatever secret sauce is an M-Desk for Blu-ray. Um, it does not cause the disc to deviate from the pre-existing standard. So just to be thorough, I double-checked this on the M-Desk website, and indeed, uh, these people on Reddit are correct. Uh, under drive compatibility, they say, with our new 25 gig uh, Blu-ray discs, our new Blu-ray is based on the same 1,000-year standard for longevity and is certified by, this is the important part, certified by the Blu-ray Disc Association to meet all current standard drive specs for optimum, optimal read write performance. Um, so this was written in like, I don't know, 2001 or 2011, I can't remember which. Um, in any event, the compatibility, I believe, now I, I can't, don't hold me to this, if you buy a Blu-ray burner that isn't MDisc certified and it doesn't work, please don't blame me. Um, all I'm saying is that it, it does appear to be the case that all Blu-rays, uh, all Blu-ray 
burners on the market today new ones because we're now in the year 2024 should have no problem whatsoever reading and writing to the m disk so where where can you buy the burners uh you can buy them on um these places amazon best buy uh photo video places are actually great places to pick up both archival media and the burners because of the fact that maybe their main user base these days is photo and video people um and now the content creation has become such a thing i think that's actually maybe given the market a bit of a bit of legs uh then you know, that it's no longer just um amateur that is no longer just professionals uh using this and finally uh you can also find them on aliexpress believe it or not or good old ali as we know it uh, where i'm based so um here are some of the products i found on the market uh, verbatim this would probably be the one i would recommend people go for because it's made by verbatim itself um, it's got USB 3.2 and it is MDisk compatible. They state that on their product thing, which is just handy because if you buy it and on the very remote chance it's not going to work, you can say, hey, you said it was going to work, so give me my money back. Um, so this is the uh, Verbatim. I put the product number here somewhere. Yeah, Verbatim 71097. Uh, write speed of 8x and it's 118 bucks on Amazon.com. Uh, oh yeah, so just for the Linux folks, um, because I'm a Linux user myself, um, I've heard that basically most stuff should work. Most Blu-ray and for most optical reader writers should work on Linux, I've heard. Again, don't hold me to this. But something you can do, I'm sure Linux people know this, and you, you can also check on the Linux hardware subreddit, and there are other uh, compatibility databases, but you can just run on Amazon search the product reviews for Linux, that's what I do, and you you usually find one or two people saying, oh, it works fine on my Linux machine. And if you are using a Linux computer and you find something that works, consider taking the two minutes to leave a review because it helps other Linux users figure out what's going to work when sometimes the manufacturers either don't state or they're hesitant to state because there's so many different Linux distros that if you say it works on Linux, they're kind of opening themselves up to um, someone coming along with a really obscure distro um, and saying, hey, it didn't work on my machine. I think that's why some hardware manufacturers don't like to say Linux compatible, even when you find they often actually work with Linux just fine. Um, so just an example, how much an internal one cost, an internal um, thing with MDisk support. I just pulled this out of the product description to say it's MDisk DVD and Blu-ray engraving. Um, it requires MDisk, but it works with it. Um, this guy's 150 bucks. 16x i don't know anything about the manufacturer um i've never used an internal i just use a usb thing but uh if you're building a computer or something and you can find a case uh with um space for one of these i would why not good option um unfortunately i seem to have screwed up a little bit here on the uh screenshot so i'm just going to read out the uh product number it's wp50 nb40 Okay, I decided I shouldn't be lazy and I just fixed uh, fixed the problem in OBS. So this is the one that I use. It's the um, LG Electronics WP50 NB40. Just be careful if you're Googling on Amazon MDisk burner. Just make sure it's a Blu-ray thing uh, because they still sell one. They still sell only DVD burners that will show up in the results and they'll be like a lot cheaper and you might say, hey, this is a great deal. Um, just make sure you're you're specifically searching for Blu-ray burners. So yeah, this is one I use, and um, also make sure if you're so there's obviously there's um, regular Blu-rays at 25 gigs. There are Blu-ray DL that's double layer at 50 gigs, and there is BDXL uh, that is four quad layer Blu-ray that can store up to 100 gigs, and M discs come um, up to 100 gigs. Just make sure if you're thinking about buying it to um, make sure that your uh, the, the burner you're looking at supports BDXL if that's what you want to use or BDD or BDDL. If you dig through the specs, you will uh, you they will list exactly what they can do. And in this case, this one is as you can tell from the product name, it's BDXL co uh, uh, compatible. So anything you put into this should burn basically. And uh, I've been using this guy this product for three years um it's a little bit old it's only usb 2.0 so that's going to slow down the transfer a bit and it needs two cables one for data one for power um if i was buying it again in the year 2024 i'd probably go for something um 
with USB 3. But dig around on Amazon, you'll find them. So just to say on AliExpress, you can actually find them. Um, I mean, AliExpress is just such a crapshoot. It's uh, a Chinese marketplace for those who don't know about it. Um, and it's uh, what a lot of people use where Amazon isn't so reliable or Amazon shipping is very expensive. Not everywhere has amazing uh, Amazon Prime service like the US. So I just put Blu-ray, external Blu-ray player into AliExpress just to see what I could find. And I got a bunch of stuff that cost about 60 bucks. I don't know any. The problem with AliExpress is there is pretty much no customer service. Their customer service sucks. So if it doesn't work, you are you face an uphill battle. And uh, the manufacturers are not known. I mean, they are. They, they have a name like Tishrik, but uh, they're not like established manufacturers. So I actually ordered one just for the sake of having a spare. Um just in case my main, uh, maybe I'll like bring it with me on like business trips where I'm not being super careful about, you know, uh, keeping the thing safe in my luggage. You know, I, I actually just bought it more as like an experiment. Um, so I don't know. I'll report back um, how it works. I definitely would not recommend uh, buying on AliExpress as your main one if you need something for reliable data backup um, just for those reasons. But I did Google it and a lot of people have bought Blu-ray burners on Ali and have no problems and um yeah that's basically all I can say about that and you'll even find on Ali stuff that actually is explicitly MDIS compatible like this one from again Tishrik the Sun Valley and they have hilarious product names uh, Sun Valley ECD008 Blu-ray external uh, Blu-ray burner they do list a um, write speed for MDISC although only DVD I see so you have to be really really diligent about reading the spec sheets uh but again most stuff will probably work here's kind of what i would buy um if i if i uh was buying my burner again and i knew it was something i was actually going to get into seriously instead of just like i was trying to find something relatively inexpensive uh asus make these um beefy kind of external writers um that prop themselves up on a stand um, this is this is a bit more pricey, like two hundred bucks or thereabouts. It's called the Asus Turbo Drive BW sixteen one HU Pro. Um, I feel like they went a bit crazy on the description there, but it's sixteen X and it has um, M disk support. And again, Linux users like me will always face this issue of it doesn't say it works on Linux. But I googled this with Linux, and people on the Linux Mint forum said they were having an okay time with it. So it's probably probably works but again uh it's your call if you want to take that gamble but at least it does say it's m disk compatible uh with the fabled 100 year things um and b and h just to give them also a mention on their website you can actually sub you can actually filter for m disk under write support and this way you can find uh they had i think it was 14 products including the internal and external so not like a vast a vast selection but basically i mean they don't have to be i I'm not maybe the 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 most uh, serious archival optical media user on the market, but so far they've just worked for me. The LG one I use, um, I've tested my old M discs. I've used checksums, and uh, everything is pretty much fine. So I, I feel like these are kind of the type of products that probably can't go that wrong. But you're, I would definitely recommend going for an established manufacturer such as verbatim and asus and it's it's definitely i think a false economy to try to save 50 euro or 70 euro um by going for something sketchy on aliexpress basically hope this was useful if you're looking if you're in the market for an m disk uh, external driver or an internal driver um try to get something with usb 3.0 would be my advice as well if you can find something with one cable instead of two for data and power um that's obviously more convenient um, and um, that's just about all I have to say about it. So good luck. If you have a favorite MDisk burner uh, that you want to give a shout out to, let me know it in the comments so other MDisk archivers, archivists can uh, discover the tools they need to get the uh, MDisk archiving done. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to get more from me, subscribe. Until the next time.